Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, let's attempt to rotate a model. So I have the uh, cat that we created in one of our previous tutorials. Um, let's attempt to rotate this model, even though it consists of many different meshes. And you can see that here, right? So all of these uh, were brought from ZBrush and we did not combine them or group them in any way. We just brought them in as separate sub tools. And in Blender, you can see them, they all come in as different meshes, right? If I wanted to frame each one, I can select the tail, for example, you can see the tail is by itself. And if I press a uh, period on my numpad on my keyboard, it's going to uh, zoom in or frame onto that object, right? So if you are new to Blender, keep that in mind. You can select different pieces of your model and just press period on your numpad and zoom in that way. You can also just deselect everything and just simply press home. That's going to frame the entire scene. All right, and this question was actually asked on my channel. So the question was coming from this video right here, creating a turntable in Blender, a 360 spin around. And the question is coming from Wowza Bunny. So thank you for asking the question. And the question is, thank you for this. Is your uh, plant character one mesh? I have a character made of several meshes, not sure if I should parent everything to a null or if there's another way to group meshes and animate that. So I would just recommend uh, using an empty. Let's take a look and see how that works. All right, so here we are in Blender and this is the current scene uh, from our last video once again, right? So the first thing I wanna do if I wanna create an empty for all of these different meshes is let me hide things that I don't want or don't need. So I'm gonna select this light right here and I'm just gonna uh, click this eyeball to hide it from my view from my scene view. So I'm gonna do that to both lights. Now, I, now I'm now i just left just with the cat and the camera, right? I'm, I can select the camera, let's hide that as well. All right, awesome, so now we essentially hid all the elements that we don't want to group together, right? I just want the mesh, I don't want the lights or the cameras to be part of my uh, empty or a group. So how do we group these? Well, we can press Shift A and in Blender, there's something called empty. So let's just say plain axes. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna press S and just make it just a little bit larger so we can see it a little bit better, right? All right, very cool. Now what we could do is we can select this empty and we could name it, right? Let's double click on this and let's just call it something like a cat. I'm gonna press enter. And now how do I put all of the elements inside this empty? So what I could do is I can press control I and that's going to select everything except my group or my empty. Now I can do shift click on the empty and press control P to bring up this panel. Next, I'm just gonna say object. And you can see what happened, right? All of the elements that we had floating in the outliner just went inside the group or the empty called cat. If I open this up, you can see all the elements are right in there, which is really cool. Uh, which also means if I select this empty or my cat group, and begin to rotate it, you will see that that's going to rotate all the elements all at once. From this point, you can follow the other tutorial setting up the animation keyframes and lights and creating a turntable uh, for your model. I hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in our next one.